Hello everyone, my name is Cade Jarvis and I'm here with Pinnacle Emergency Vehicles. We're your Braun, Demers, and Crestline dealer in the states of Arkansas, Kansas, Missouri, and Oklahoma. And today I'm really excited to show you this awesome demo unit. This is the Braun Liberty. Braun Ambulances is based in Van Wert, Ohio and has been building custom, high quality ambulances since 1972. At Pinnacle, we're proud to say that we started as a Braun dealership in 2014. This particular unit is a Braun Liberty, built on a Chevy 4500 HD chassis. When you choose the Liberty from Braun, you're getting a Type 1 unit. The module will be 156 inches in length and have a full 72 inches of headroom inside. The Chevy 4500 is a heavy duty chassis built to handle the toughest conditions. As we start this walk around, let's begin in the front grille. And here you'll see that Braun included four Wheeland 500 series super LEDs. Now this is a great time to mention that all the exterior lighting, your warning and scene lights, are going to be from Wheeland as a standard when you choose Braun. So you know they're going to be highly durable and very visible. An optional feature that many of our customers include is having a front grill guard installed. Now they can come from many different vendors, um, but the benefit to having them installed at the factory is that these warning lights can be built into the grill guard. That creates a seamless look without compromising the visibility, and it also adds added protection to your ambulance. Coming around the side of the vehicle, you can see you've got your intersection light here, and on the front of the module, we have seven Wheeland 900 series super LEDs. An optional feature in that area would be adding an auxiliary condenser. What that does is help the OEM system cool down the module, so if you're in a warmer climate, that might be something you should consider. At the front street side of the module, now's a great time to talk about what makes Braun unlike any other ambulance manufacturer, and that's solid body construction. The module is created using flat sheets of marine grade aluminum that are brake formed and all the seams are welded. This creates an incredibly strong module and it increases the safety for your patients and crew. Moving down the street side, you've got your shoreline here, and OSS1 is your standard oxygen compartment with an additional feature that's a Braun exclusive, and that's the EZO2 lift. I'll demonstrate how that is used now. With your oxygen cylinder loaded, that's out of oxygen, you'll simply drop the EZO2 lift and lock it in place at the lowered position. Then you can unload the old oxygen cylinder and reload the new one. Then it's just as simple as pushing down, pulling up on the lever, and you're ready to go. Moving into OSS number two, you'll see that it's a pretty big storage space with an adjustable shelf. Also what you'll notice is that all the exterior compartments on Braun ambulances are gonna be finished with gator hide. This makes the module a little bit quieter and also keeps your equipment from shifting during transport. More lighting on the side, diesel, and in OSS number three, you'll see this is also an extremely large storage space with inside outside access on the top. So if you have frequently used equipment that you're using both from the inside of the ambulance and on the outside, this is a great place to store that. Moving to the rear of the unit, there's a couple aspects I'd like to point out. The first being bronze signature curved roof. It's actually built that way to improve strength of the module and keeps water and snow from pooling on the top. Additionally, we have one backup camera lower and one higher, which gives your crew an added peace of mind when they're backing up into tight quarters. Other features on the back that I'd like to point out would be the wheel and lighting that we talked about earlier, as well as a standard feature of Braun, which is the Eberhard door handles. Now, something as simple as a door handle may seem unimportant, but the way they're designed can actually lower your maintenance costs. And that's because Eberhard door handles are free floating, meaning that the interior latch is disengaged whenever the door is locked. This means whenever people are coming up to the door and trying to open it, they won't accidentally break something in the door handle when it's locked. Whenever it's unlocked, the latch is connected and it works like a standard door. Now, as I open up this other rear door, you'll see the ambulance lowering. And that's actually the liquid spring suspension system in action. What that does is make it easier to load and unload your patient and it also makes the driving experience smoother when you're in transport. On the curb side of the unit, we'll start with OSS number four. This is a large storage space meant for backboards, stair chairs, seat collars, or whatever else you may want to keep in this large compartment. As we move down the side, all Braun Liberties come standard with what's called a drop skirt. And that means the module has actually been lowered in this area, making it easier to get in and out of the ambulance via the curbside door. Rounding out the exterior compartments, we've got OSS number five, or what's commonly called the ALS compartment. It has inside outside access, adjustable shelves, and a ton of storage to keep all of your equipment. Braun's easy glide sliding door is a standard and serves many purposes. 
If you're on a highway incident where there may be oncoming traffic, you don't have to worry about accidentally opening a door into a vehicle. Additionally, if you're parking in a tight hospital spot or an ambulance bay that may be a little bit smaller than you'd like, you don't have to worry about accidentally opening the door into other objects. An additional feature that many of our customers include is an electronic step below the curbside door. When the door opens, the step will reveal itself, making it a little easier to get in and out. When you close the door, the step will attract back to its normal position. The Liberty, as I mentioned earlier, comes with a drop skirt, which makes this a little bit less important. But on many of our other Braun models, this is a very popular option. So now that we've seen the exterior of the truck, let's take a look inside. Immediately to your right, you've got your ALS cabinets. Three opening cabinets and also a pull-out drawer. Next to that's going to be your Pro Air HVAC system. It's a very powerful system that does a great job of heating and cooling your truck. And what's also interesting is that behind it we've included a UV light. In the age of COVID, a lot of our customers are interested in ways to better disinfect and clean their ambulance, and this is just one option that you might want to consider. Directly below that Pro Air system, you've got your attendant seat, and this one does have the child seat built in. As I spin the attendant seat around, you'll notice the pass-through area has its own countertop with a drawer and a cabinet below that. This is the option we included in this truck, but with Braun, anything can be customized to fit your needs. An example of, of that could be in our Type 3 units where we'll have a pivoting door, sometimes called a crawl through or a walk through, which gives you full access to the cab from the module. Next to that is Braun's PDQ, which houses the multiplex electrical system that you'll be getting as a standard with all Braun's. That controls Master Tech Electrical, which is a one-stop shop, the brains to the Braun. It controls almost every feature you'd need in the back of the ambulance, from your module heating and air conditioning, to the lighting, the oxygen system, the suction system. It can all be controlled here in your one-stop shop. Finishing up in the action area, you've got cabinetry up top, access to your oxygen cylinder through this door, your outlets and controls along this wall, and a really cool feature that we included was this recessed suction canister, which frees up a great deal of space on your countertop. While other manufacturers may lock you into a specific layout in this area, Braun gives you the tools to choose what you want, where you want it. Another neat feature included with Braun ambulances is going to be the rounded, seamless countertops. This keeps particles from getting in those seams and also makes it easier for you to clean your ambulance. Another unique feature that's exclusive to Braun would be the angled lights you see here. When you combine the angled lights with the dome lights overhead, our customers call it operating room lighting. It creates awesome shadowless light to make sure you don't miss anything on your patient. Finishing up on the street side of the module, you've got your CPR seat here, a secondary action area with two pull-out drawers below, and two other large cabinets behind it. Now, the bottom one will have access to that OSS number three like we talked about with the inside-outside access. What separates Braun from any other ambulance manufacturer is the way the cabinets are constructed. While others may simply bolt in the cabinets after the fact, Braun's aluminum cabinetry is welded in during the build of the module. That increases strength and adds safety to your patients and crew in the event of an accident. While we're talking about safety, now's a great time to bring up Braun's latest innovation, the Impact Airbag System. It utilizes Rolltech technology and deploys airbags at strategically located positions, up by the attendant seat, on the CPR seat, and also on the curbside bench in the event of a side impact rollover collision. Braun unveiled this technology last year, and it's definitely something you should consider in your next ambulance purchase. Now that we're on the curbside, you see we've got an additional Vista screen located here. What that does is give your crew options. They can sit in the CPR seat, the attendant seat, or the curbside bench and still have full access to all module controls. Moving down the curbside wall, you've got your flip up sharps and waste container at the head of the squad bench, two seating positions, plenty of storage underneath the squad bench with additional storage up top, and another auction access point. You probably noticed it on the street side, but also included on the curbside is this blue ambient light strips below. These are really great for those nighttime transfers when you don't want the blinding white light shining right down on your patient. Additionally, you may choose to include these in your cabinets as well. Rounding out the interior of the module, we're going to finish with the ceiling. You've got dome lights going the length of the module on either side of these grab rails, and what's interesting is that four of the lights are actually Vital Bio bacteria fighting dome lights. Now they're not UV, so you don't have to worry about them being on while you're in the back of the truck, but they do provide an enhanced level of protection against bacteria and other pathogens. You've got another oxygen access point in the ceiling, two IV hangers, and a digital clock in the rear head pad. Coming into the cab, there's a couple things I'd like to touch on. The first one being the console. When you're choosing Braun ambulances, you'll receive a custom aluminum console as a standard. This can be fit for your radios and sirens. Additionally, on this swivel, you'll see a Vista screen that looks very similar to the ones we saw on the rear, but this one gives you access to your warning and scene lights. This Vista screen also feeds the view from the rear via the backup camera that we talked about earlier. 
An additional upgrade that many of our customers choose is including a 360 degree camera system. Braun installs these from vendors like Zone Defense or Brigade, and what it does is give you a view from all four sides of the ambulance and makes it a little bit easier to park in the tight spaces. Throughout this walk around, I hope you've been able to see the quality that comes when you choose a Braun ambulance. I've also brought in an industry expert. He's purchased multiple units from us over the past few years and will give you some insight into his experience with Pinnacle and Braun ambulances. Here with me is Mike Ross. He's the director at Freeman Ambulance Service and they purchased multiple Brawns from us over the past few years. Now Mike, what's your experience been with Pinnacle and Braun as we've delivered these new units? Excellent. I mean, uh, we selected Braun for uh, the value and the quality. Uh, we've got about 400,000 miles worth of experience on uh, Braun products now. And it was actually the beginning of our remount program uh, when we switched to Braun, uh, again, because of the, um, uh, the quality and value. And the crews have been happy with the quality of the vehicle. Uh, <clears throat> as an administrator, I feel like that we're providing as safe as product as, as we can provide to uh, the people that are working in the back and also uh, the patients that we're transporting. So I think it's a win-win. I mean, having a Pinnacle here in the neighborhood, fantastic dealer. Uh, a lot of people don't have dealers close by. Uh, of course, that's not the only advantage, but still, nonetheless, uh, working with you guys has been uh, very good, very knowledgeable. Uh, the whole group's here to help and, uh, and support us. So, yeah, it, it, we're in a good situation. It's awesome. Well, we appreciate that, and we certainly appreciate your business. Thank you. This wraps up our walk around of the Braun Liberty. A special thanks to Mike Ross for giving some insight into his experience with Braun and Pinnacle. As a DBC exclusive dealership, we've certainly got a model that will fit your needs, whether that's with Demir's, Braun, or Crestline. So if you'd like more information, give us a call at 417-540-0600, or you can visit us online at www.pinnacle-ev.com. Thank you, and have a great day. Now I'm ready. Currently using, and that was part of our initial plan. Whoops. With your oxygen bottle loaded here, you'll simply step on this plate, pull the lever, and drop the bottle simply and easily. All right. Directly behind that is going to be the PDQ, which has all the electrical. I know there's no oxygen. Open up this other rear door, you'll hear the liquid swing suspension system in action. The liquid swing. Let me try this one more time.